I n have never experienced something this like this. I've never witnessed anything like it. I've never witnessed the level of an invasion of privacy on any individual that I can possibly think of. I've never witnessed a sustained attack on one person like this. I recognize that none of this is, is necessarily about me. They are trying to, in the in in their most uh, illegitimate way, but rational way, they're trying to destroy a presidency, and so it's not about me. In their most base way, what they're trying to do is they're trying to kill me, knowing that it will be a pain greater than my father could be able to handle, and so therefore destroying a presidency in that way. All right, sir, isn't it about him, though? Sounds like something that's very self-absorbed, to be honest with you. But, you know, that being said, it's it's really about his behavior and his actions and what he did uh, at the end of the day. You know, he uh, benefited millions and millions of dollars uh, to uh, when his father was in, as vice president. Uh, you know, that is obviously a concern that those were corrupt relationships, that they were only giving him money to benefit his father and to have access to his father. And I think that is, uh, you know, in a, in a republic like we have, where citizens participate in government, I think that's that's the biggest concern we could possibly have is somebody being compromised and not acting in uh, the the people's interest, but acting in their own interest. And yeah. so, you know, Hunter can spin it and suggest that this is somehow trying to damage his father. At the end of the day, it's just trying to get to the truth. And they have the entire, and I say they, the entire Biden family, whether it's Hunter or his dad who's president of the United States or, his, or his, the president's brother, Jim, all of them have blocked and tried to prevent the truth from getting out and are unwilling to cooperate with a fairly easy inquiry as to where'd this money go at the end of the day once it moved through all these LLCs. Yeah, and, and you know, it does feel like when it comes to impeachment, it feels like there's some appetite for this in the House, for this to move to articles of impeachment at some point early 2024. But didn't Democrats just establish this impeachment playbook during the Trump years that Republicans are now using? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that is the biggest concern is that, you know, our founding fathers, I'm reading an interesting book about, you know, sort of the Madison, Jefferson, Hamilton, and how the Constitution was formed, and then ultimately, uh, you know, how they became bitter opponents. But you know, the they impeachment was purposefully uh, designed, and and the House and the Senate were purposely designed to do, uh, you know, to only impeach the high crimes and misdemeanors and and people that were seriously corrupt and guilty, and 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 it's usually reserved for the worst of the worst. And then we saw what they did with Donald Trump is just, uh, you know, the smallest advantage, which was, you know, a slim House majority was used to, uh, you know, po politically punish President Trump twice. And right. now, yeah. you know, we're seeing it uh, when it's in the other hands. And I think we talked about this at the time that, you know, this was going to be the new reality. It was just going to be like a tennis match. Who's ever the president should expect to go through an impeachment right. proceeding in the House. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I want to quickly ask you something about Hunter Biden. So isn't it a condition of Hunter's release in Delaware that he doesn't commit any further crimes? And now we have, is, isn't contempt of the subpoena? Isn't this, went by not showing up, isn't that a crime? Well, again, is if the House has a majority vote and ultimately those charges are brought by Department of Justice, I just, you know, obviously, obviously the risks he was facing, uh, you know, a couple more misdemeanors, or, an, or a contempt of court for violating the conditions of his release, I think was well worth the risk for, for him, instead of him sitting down and actually having to answer questions hmm. uh, from the House. Now, he would have most likely just taken the Fifth Amendment on, on, on most questions except what his name was. Right. Yeah. But, you know, I think this was from a political theater, from a, you know, what, where they think they could score the political advantage mm -hmm. and not have too much uh, legal risk. I think this was what they decided uh, would be the playbook. But anybody else, last name not Biden, isn't that a violation of your release? Like, shouldn't the judge in Delaware now relook at this? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we got to take a few more steps, Rob. And that's, I think, what, what you know, I'll have to come back on and, you know, in, in a couple months and we can talk about what the Department of Justice decision on this contempt, yeah. if yeah. he's held in contempt, would be. Yeah.